Hi guys, this is a quick get ready with me. So, um, this is what I end up doing to my nails. I actually used the color and I put it on my middle finger and I did one more coat. Um, if you didn't see the video of me doing my manicure on my hands, go check that out. As you guys know, if you're my loyal subscribers, you know I apply a thin layer of concealer to my entire face because I don't find a foundation to match my complexion. So I go to the next one up. I'm using my e.l.f. powder brush. And I apologize for it being crushed. I just cleaned them the other day. So again, it's crushed. And this is not the natural shape of the brush. It's actually like, I don't know how to describe the shape of the brush. But this is not the natural shape of the brush. So this is a quick get ready with me video. Because I have to be to school for 6 o'clock. And right now, it is, um, it is 3.59. So once I have a layer of foundation all over my entire face, which is pretty quick to do. And as you guys know, I work in a circle motion. Foundation, I'm using a Kleenex. Bella saying hi. Now I'm highlighting with my concealer again. This is 781A. Blend, blend, blend. Clean finger. Make sure your fingers clean. Blend, blend, blend. I am highlighting, guys. I am looking blend, blend, blend. I blend in a circular motion to each its own. I kind of wanted to do a dramatic eye look, but I'm not going to be able to. So once I've blended all of that out, I'm going to touch up on some areas where I didn't want to be highlighted with my foundation. Um, I'm grabbing my dual ended H&M um, foundation and powder brush, grabbing my Maybelline Fit Me in 210. Like I said before, and I keep saying in my videos, if you guys find a um, a drugstore brand that is a lot cheaper than the products I'm using, let me know in the comments below because this purse powder is $17. And it's Maybelline. And the foundation I'm using is $15 and it's Maybelline as well. So now I'm setting my contour. With the pressed powder, as you guys know, I say it in almost every video. If you use a liquid for something, um, be sure to not illuminating. And I'm using my NYX. So this is just a fast get ready with me. So I'm just using products that I have here. It's 403. I am super late. I'm just using products I have here. I'm not... If it's anything I have to grab for, I'm not going to use it. If it's anything that I already have here, I'm going to use it. I oh, almost broke my mirror. So now I am contouring with my bronzer. And it's the same quad from last night's video. If you guys watch my Get Ready With Me. Well, I put it up this morning at like 7 o'clock. So now I'm contouring with my bronzer because I don't have time to contour with my other thing and set it. So I'm just going to contour with my bronzer. And then I'm going to blend that out. Um, I'm also grabbing the light shade to act as an illuminator. At the highest point of my cheekbone, 
from the outers of my forehead. Now I'm going to blend in. Grab more of that brown hair that I just used. Um, this is the color I use up here, that dark brown and that light brown as illuminator. Um, I actually think I can use this darker brown. It's not dark enough to be that contour, but it should give me a nice cut. It's dark enough to give me a nice cut. So, definitely using that dark brown there. For a nice cut contour alongside my bronzer. Mm. So I'm done with that. I'm going to cover it back up with the clear that comes with it. Clear the whole thing. Closing that up. I'm going to apply my blush now. So, you guys know I've been loving this BSN number 11 blush. And I've been wearing it like almost like every day. I can't open it, and I just did my nails. So. Oh crap, I got it in there. Um, I thought I was just coming that off. So I finished with that. I am now priming my eyelids with my Urban Decay Anti Age Eyeshadow Primer. That's how that looks. I apologize, some of the words primed um, came off. So cute. Looks like we're a princess. Which I am the princess. So, I'm done with that. I have time to contour. So, I'm priming my eyelids really quick. So, then I'm just going to apply on. Um, Like probably like a blue or something, like a light color. Because I don't have time to highlight under my brow bone and all that good stuff that I love to do because it's time for me to get the hell out the house. Okay, so I primed both eyelids. Um, I am curling my eyelashes over here and applying my mascara. And you guys watch my videos all the time, so you guys know how I do it. While well, my primer dries on my other. I'm recurling my eyelashes after I finish applying my mascara. Um, I'm grabbing my brow gel and I'm studying my eyebrows. So if you guys know, brush them up to the shape you want them to be. So I set my eyebrows. Done with that. So I'm back. I kind of made a mistake. You guys can see it over here. Uh huh. Mascara in the. 
corner of my eye. So I cleaned that up. Now I am going to um, get, grab my eyeshadow brush. I'm using my NYX Dreams Catchers palette. And I'm just going to take this blue color right here and apply it to my entire lid. I'm going to pat it on basically. Same thing as my other eyelid. Because this is a new palette, that's why I'm patting it on to get the maximum amount of color paint off without um um in less time because I'm in a rush. So pan it on instead of Instead of blending it at first, we'll give you the maximum of color that you're looking for. So I am patting, patting, patting on this color. You guys love my makeup. <laughs> you guys love, love, love my makeup. And you guys love when I do dramatic looks, when I do multicolors. But because I'm in a rush, I'm just going to do one color. Because I really like this palette and I really like this blue. I think it's such a pretty blue. And I usually don't do one color over my whole eyelid. So I know this color feels... So happy to be over my entire eyelid <laughs> by itself without another color being blended in like I usually do. Color is supposed to feel awesome right now. Like, oh my gosh, Sally with that color but I'm just touching up. Once you pat it in, you want to make sure you touch up and reapply. And then I'm just going to do an eyeliner. So now this is 15 minutes since I've been doing my makeup and I am done. And I'm leaving out the door right now. I am done my makeup look. Um, the only thing I'm going to highlight under my brow bone, you guys know, that is a must. You must always highlight under your brow bone with a lighter color, not just eyeshadow under the eyelid. But you must always, this is a makeup always instruction to highlight underneath your brow bone. And you guys know, since I'm a beauty blogger, I'm going to give you guys the way it's supposed to be done. Whether you're doing it fast or not, you must always use a lighter color and highlight under your brow bone, which is what I am, which is what I just did. I grabbed the white and the peach, so it's lighter underneath my brow bone. I 
hope you guys can see that. Because I'm a beauty vlogger, I'm bringing you guys the way it's supposed to be done. And I'm going to tell you guys to put one uniform color palette into your bra bone. Use your brush groomer, brush comb, get eyebrows in place. Even though I already set it with my gel, I'm going to brush and comb them horizontally and diagonally into whatever natural shape it takes. I'm not really going for a uniform shape, so I'm going for the natural shape. And since I need to have my eyebrows done anyways, um, I'm going to use this purple and smoke out the edges just a little bit. So in order to smoke it out, you just bring that darker color three quarters up on your closed eyelid. Make sure you get everywhere. Don't leave any crevices. Don't have a shading. If I wasn't a makeup geek. So now I've just turned this look into a smoky eye look. I hope you guys see that. With just three colors, um, four colors. Blue, blue, purple, white, and beige. Get down. Blue, purple, white, and beige. And... I just pushed my cat with my foot, the side of my foot, because she pissed me off. Now she wants to hop on top of the dresser, and when she gets up there, she's going to be knocking things down. That's what she's going to do, because she doesn't really see them from the floor. So... It's really amazing for her, so she wants to get close up so she can see it close up. But at the same time, she's not allowed to go on the dresser. And that's why I put stuff that is to be out of her reach. That's why I put stuff that is to be out of her reach in high instead of low. So now I'm going to blend this out and I'm just to make it a smooth line between my blue eyeshadow, which is really bright. And my purple smoky eye look. Again, grabbing my foundation brush to clean up any, to give it a sharp cut crease. I'm done with that. Gotta go. Clean off your brush like always, guys. Gotta go. Um, put an eyeliner, and this is Midnight, which is a very deep blue color. And as you guys know, I bring it three quarters. From the crumbs of my eye. And. I'm going for a thick. Eyeliner look. So with. A close eyelid. That looks very nice. I'm going to throw some lipstick. So I throw my lipstick. Um, this is already taken, N3, from um, City Colors. Um, I've been really, really loving this lipstick. I've, like, worn it so much. And it was only $1.99. 
It looks so good on my big, beautiful lips. So this is the finished makeup look. Um, I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna set it because I didn't spend all that time doing my makeup not to set it. So I'm grabbing my translucent prep and prime powder from Mac, and I jacked up my nail. You guys, see that? And this is pricey too. This is twenty five dollars. Mm. So yeah, I'm grabbing my H and M dual ended brush. I'm setting. You want to set where it's most likely to move first, and like your eyeshadow. It's like especially if you do like a glitter or something. So I do this in a circular motion, and I'm setting it, setting it. This is, especially since you use a light color, I use a light color to tighten my eyes. Um, 